All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're going to be reacting to the whatever podcast clip where he says some things to women about men. All right, we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this dude is so hard. Oh! Oh that last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. And um, so whatever podcast, one of my favorite podcasts on YouTube, outside of Fresh and Fit and all them, I like whatever podcast. He brings up some good points to women, you know what I mean, um, about certain things, you know. So he asks these women this question, and we're gonna listen to what he said, and then we're gonna react to what he said. So let's get it. Let's say there's just some boy out there, and he was just sleeping with a bunch of girls, and he gets a girl pregnant, and he's like, oh. Man, and she wants to keep the kid, right? What would you say to him? Like, and he doesn't want to have the kid. Get ready for child support. Child support. There's nothing you can do. Like, you have to pay the child support. Tough luck, right? He has Sh- say, you right? shouldn't have done that, right? See, we only hold men accountable for their bad decisions. But if a woman wanted to get an abortion, and if we were to tell that woman, you should have just kept your legs closed. A lot of people would be very offended by that comment and say, well, women should still have an option. And whereas if a man gets a girl pregnant, suck it up, tough, enjoy 18 years of child support. You have no say as a guy, you have no option. Oh man. That right there is the perfect example of how women feel about men when it comes to children and why they don't care about a man's opinion. Because in this country, women are put on a pedestal as the basically the only parent in the family that's important you know what i'm saying and i think that a lot of people don't want to admit that now you see how fast the women have said put them on child support child support child support in their head They think that child support is a punishment for a man who basically doesn't want the child. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of that, they would never say that to a woman who doesn't want the child. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's okay. When it comes to children, society has made it like it's okay for a woman to make any decision she wants when it comes to her child, she could be damn near a crackhead and the court system will still support her because she's the female. She's the woman. She's the mother. This is how crazy this is. And none of them, when he said that, what he said about men are the only ones that's held accountable. Ain't none of them say, you know what? You're right. And that's, that's crazy. They said it without even thinking. Child support. And the one girl said, enjoy your eight, 18 years of child support or something like that. And it's like, really? Mm-hmm. So it's not, it hasn't become a thing where the parents work together. It's the system, the court system, and the mother versus the father. It's basically what it is. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of deadbeat dads out there. A whole lot of them. But for good reason sometimes. Because they feel like they're outnumbered. And they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have anything. But it's like, you the man, you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do. But then they tell you not to be a man. Because that's misogynistic. Or toxic masculinity. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what do you do in a situation like this? When you have a table full of women like that who literally tell you 
well, I'm going to have this baby. And when I have this baby, you're going to be on child support. It's like a threat. But for me, I'm pro-life all the way. I don't believe in abortions at all. At all. Under any circumstance. When I say any, I mean any. I don't believe in abortion. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that every man should take care of their child. Period. Mm -hmm. You made it. It's yours. Own it. Take care of it. That's just how it goes. But I'll let you go ahead, man. Um, First and foremost, man, I, I just got to say this, man. I got to put it out there. Men have been getting kicked in the rear end for years when it comes to things, man. And I'm not saying there's not men out there that deserve to be kicked in the rear end because there's, there's a lot of men that deserve it. But what I'm saying is that there has not been equal when it comes to men and it comes to women. It's always either been what the woman say and that's it. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you want to take it even further... You look at the holidays. Mother's Day is the most glorious day you could possibly have as a holiday when it comes to the females. But when we get the Father's Day, what happens? What happens? We don't get you know, shit. You know, I could tell you what happened when we get the Father's Day. Go ahead. The mothers take it over and say we're the fathers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. You get yeah. you get women and say, I'm the mother and the father. I'm it's my day. Yeah. Like, I literally argued with a girl on Facebook on Father's Day when she was saying she's the father. Like, but go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, but no, you're right. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's it, it, it's hard to really navigate through because, uh, like, most of the people just go along with it because that's just how it's been for so many years. Um, when it comes to uh, the children and pregnancy and men and females and you know all that stuff or whatever when it comes to that uh, look i'm gonna put it to you like this you know what i'm saying it takes two to tango right it takes two to tango if y'all both agree on having sex with one another then by all means y'all should both be taking care of the child if you get pregnant. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be no automatically, yo, put him on child support. But now, if he don't want the kid, he don't even got a choice. He don't even got a choice for the child support. It's you take the child support or you take care of the kid. Now, most men, especially if you have uh, men that, uh, that have their life together, and they just, you know, one night stand. Maybe they got into an argument with the wife and they went out there, ran into an old flame and then one thing left to another because this does happen. Then there you go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Female gets pregnant. This is your child. They might want to get an abortion and they say no. So now that man is faced with the reality of the mistake that he made that he got to go back and either tell his family that he got this child, got this uh, girl pregnant, and he got this child on the way, or he got to suffer the consequences of the child support, or just both. Because we have, we do have situations where the man is still in the child's life and he's still paying child support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I seen a dude living with his girl, and she was making him pay child support. There like, you how go. is that? Like, how are you living with the baby mother? Y'all living together, there you go. and she got you on child support. That's weird. And guess what? And guess what? You know what's funny? They blamed it on the court system. They told the court. The court system was like, oh, well, he got to pay it. There wasn't even no real legitimate reason. It's like, mm -hmm. he got to pay it. But they, they're together. They agreed. 
on taking mm -hmm. care of the child together, but he still got paid child support. You gotta move your yo. You gotta move your camera. Okay. You get, you're cutting your head off. Okay, yeah. my bad. When you get close to the camera like that, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, but he still gotta pay the child support. That's what they said. So, at the end of the day, man, it, it's it's crazy, man. Uh, for all the guys that are handling their business, more power to y'all. For all the guys that are deadbeats, man, yo, y'all better get it together, cause. It, it, it's it's going to be a rocky road for you deadbeats when if you run into any type of woman that we just viewed on the show, you're going to be in serious trouble. Believe that. It ain't going to be no. It's going to be wham and giving out that money. Yeah. Simple as that. Hey, man, look, man. You ain't no time of this sketch pad. We out of here. See y'all. Peace, man. Gone.